Hey there, folks. It's time once again for another Smog on Tier update. Uh, before I get into the actual changes this month, I want to remind people of how the Smog on Tiers work. Uh, Smog on Tiers are determined primarily uh, based on usage on the Pokemon Showdown simulator. Um, basically, every battle that's on Pokemon Showdown is logged, <clears throat> and at the end of each month, uh, we tally up every Pokemon that was used in every single battle, and uh, Pokemon that were used enough in OU uh, stand up, end up staying in OU. Uh, those that weren't end up uh, used up enough in OU can be in UU, and if they're not used enough in UU, then they can be in RU, and so on and so forth. Um, so again, this is pr primarily determined by usage. Um, it really annoys me when people are like, oh, I can't believe Smogon dropped blank down to this tier, or I can't believe that Smogon had this rise up, because those aren't decisions that the community makes, uh, or any of the leadership at least. These are things that just happen, okay? These are things that just happen. Uh, and this is really important to say this month. And now, I mean, yes, there are suspect councils. So if something is is uh, obviously broken in a tier, uh, then that's what the borderline tiers are for. And those are determined by the Smogun community. So, for instance, the RU council decided to test Cresselia. Um, and after having it unbanned for like a month, um, they decided, no, it's going to be banned. Uh, so Cresselia is once again in Borderline 2, for instance, and like the entire Ubers tier, uh, that's not based on usage. Um, but beyond that, most things, uh, in, uh, most things for the Smogon tiers are based on usage, and most of the tier changes are based on usage. So, with that said, nothing's rising to OU this month. Really simple, really, really easy to say. Um... Oh, by the way, why am I up uploading this video, and why are the tiers updating on January 2nd rather than January 1st? Well, that's because uh, Keldeo Resolution, uh, you know, the special form that it, the form that it has with the horn, uh, was renamed Keldeo Resolute on Pokemon Showdown at some point middle midway through uh, the month, and it broke all my scripts. So. Uh, before when I ran this, it said that Ninjask was rising to OU, and I was like, that doesn't seem right. And then I noticed that there were only 65,000 OU battles for this month, compared to half a million in the previous month. And I was like, that doesn't make any sense. And I looked at the script, the script logs, and I'm like, oh yeah, it's breaking on Keldeo Resolute, because my scripts have no idea what Keldeo Resolute is. So, a uh, little aside there. But yeah, nothing's rising to OU this month. Yu Yu uh, is ga gaining Obama Snow, which is just going to further lower um, Snover's usage, and is also gaining um, Chansey, which was not really... Chansey is kind of a last-minute addition, um, and I've warned the Yu Yu Suspect Council about it, and they've said, no, we're not going to auto-ban it to Borderline uh, yet. Borderline is the Ubers of Yu Yu. It's for Pokemon that are too broken in Yu Yu, uh, but would be there otherwise. Um, Yu Yu recently uh, decided to unban Hail, so Snover, while it was in PU, uh, was very much going to be expected to rise either to Yu Yu or Ru, um, or and as you see, it's not in R. It's not going to be in Yu Yu this time around, uh, and it's probably not going to stay. It's not going to be in Yu Yu next time around either. Now that um, Obama Snow is in the tier, Ru. Um, so again, I'm emphasizing here. Uh, Tier changes are based on usage, and uh, so really we had no control over these changes. Uh, Snover is rising from PU. This was to be expected. I mean, we didn't think that it was going to be UU, but we really didn't think it was going to stay in NU slash PU. Um, as for the four rises to NU, Abzal was predicted. Um, the other three, I mean, since Shino has been seeing a lot of usage, the other two... It's it's not really okay that those two rows, and I'm not going to get into why it's not okay, but if you go into the usage, uh, the detailed moveset usage statistics uh, on the, in the Smogon thread, if you look at, if you go to the moveset statistics and pull up Embor, you'll see that there's something not quite right there, um, but there's nothing we can do about it, and it is what it is. So, and I'm not going to talk anymore about it. NU uh, is gaining um, Rose uh, Roselia and which is going to be nice for the fact that they're losing uh, Among Us, and they're also gaining Stoutland. As for the others, um, 
the, I mean, the things that are rising from PU, the NUPU threshold is so chaotic. Half of these Pokemon dropped last time and uh, are probably going to drop the next time as well. So um, just look them over if you want the full list. Uh, go to Smogon. And then finally we have uh, these four Pokemon are falling to PU. I'm actually kind of excited about um, uh, Camerupt. I was expecting it to drop, like, three cycles ago, and then it didn't at the last minute, so I'm actually really happy about that. Um, but it's kind of the only <laughs> happy thing in this tier update for me. Uh, so folks, check the, uh, for the full details on all this, and for the full tier lists, uh, click the link in the description to go to the Smogon tier thread, and, um, yeah, see you in three months for more tiers. So long, folks.